Welcome back to Mars The Mission on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 3 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, here on the Mars colony, I've been busy, but I'm not done yet with what I want to show you. Uh, we're still September 1. I've done a fair bit, bearing in mind it's 10 past 5. Um, we're going to... I'll see you in September 2. But because it's going to take a month for stuff to come, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do... I'm going to sell the seed and planter, and we're going to buy a combination seed and planter. Bearing in mind we're in, on Mars, we're on the colony, we're going to be embracing new technologies, and also I think having one implement that does multiple tasks makes more sense. It's a bit more futuristic. That's what we're kind of aiming for. I need to find my trigger. Is it somewhere? Oh, come on. No, it is, because I've... Hang on. Over here. There we go. So this one we're going to get 95 grand. Do I want to repaint it? Yes, repaint it. Why not? 96 something. So we'll sell that one. And then that one's 78. Now I'm thinking... I, I had my mind on one particular one. But I think with what we've just earned on those... So they're going to be dismantled and they're going to be sent back new one will be ordered and will be sort of delivered. I've also need to order, I've got the one Damcon I'm going to order a couple more Damcons or I don't want to sell the one we've got and get hmm, not too short to do really there's some other options. I need to order a frame which you might have already seen from the thumbnail. I'm not too sure, it depends what the thumbnail is yet. Again, haven't done the thumbnail yet the other thing I want to show you is our Universal Crusher at the bottom of that page there um, we have so far off of the fields we have ploughed and I have extended and I have started ploughing new fields ready for grassing. We ended up with in excess of 100,000 litres of stones. <laughs> I don't want to do stones. I don't want to do stones as in rock picking for a while. We have got some stones around the map. We've got some stones in some different locations. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But I need to put some more water in there. But as you can see at the bottom, our outgoing products here... We've got a load of outgoing products. Now we do need lime because we're going to need to lime those fields. Uh, there is another production that needs to go in with this. But what I will show you as well tomorrow is um, we've got, because this is all storing at the moment, and it's storing it as pallets. We've got a, a ridiculous amount of pallets. Now realistically, I haven't even looked at the prices of these. If I sell the gold or copper and don't refine them yet, don't know what to do. Mm, I think we'll wait and we'll, we'll buy another thing. I also need to get up and I need to bring down the oil to get into the refinery so we can start producing some of these things because they all just require the crude oil which we've got running. But the other thing I need to do, oh that's what I was going to do while I'm here, we need to go to pallets and we need to buy some of these for those other two productions. Um, they're only 20 each but I've got to take them up. I'm not sure how many they take, um, I, but anyway. I think we can pick these up by hand, I can't remember. I'm going to go and get a flatbed trailer, because we have got one that's set for bales. Um, these should all be outside at the moment. So that tank is going to go up, we're going to go and get crude oil. But anyway, like I say, I've still got some more ploughing to do. I've got a little bit more stone collection to do. I just wanted to show you that I was getting rid of those, so that when the new stuff comes... People won't then say, well, hang on a minute, I thought you said it takes a month. It does. That's why I'm doing it now. Uh, I'd rather get it ordered now and get it sorted. So all these barrels, these now to go, need to go up. Now, I don't know how much these... Does this have straps on the back? Oh, no. I thought that back deck would have straps. That would be quite cool. I wonder if I can put anything up on there. Can these be lifted up by hand? But they can't. They can. Yes, yes, yes. And without straps, these are going to go all over the shop, aren't they? I don't think it'll even let me put them on there, will it? Oh, that's annoying. That would have been perfect. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a flatbed trailer. So I will see you um, September 2. And I'll show you what I've been up to. And hopefully I'll have it finished. <laughs> oh, if I put some hours on this. Oh, okay. So, um, oil. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you September 2. Let's go and get a trailer.
September 2 and I can now reveal the grand plan. We've got a load to get done. I'm an absolute, <laughs> an absolute ton to get done, but it's all good. Now, like I keep saying, I keep saying this, the money is not important as in this is not about how much money can we make. The money is literally to be able to get resources. That's all it's about. What we've got is a list of things we need to do. What I can start doing is putting in beehives immediately, once I've got money. The task requires 20 large beehives. I've been thinking about maybe, I'm sure it's a couple of bee facilities. I don't know whether I could do that. Might be a little bit different. I don't know how many, there's one that it sort of has lots of beehives built into it. I might look at that, um, but let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the map. So. This is what I've done then, combined, 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 and extended. This plot, grass, 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 it will be. At the moment it's just dirt, grass, 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 and all of that around the back will be grass. That's the plan. Now, what is also very cool, I talked about the ore situation. So, if we go to our productions, we can look at it at the bottom, Universal Crusher. So all our stones pretty much have run through our water, Actually, we've gone through that pretty well. We've got 27,000 litres of lime in storage, which is brilliant because we're going to need lime. And my fields are going to need lime. In. I still might have to get some from the lime storage, but it's fine. We've got iron ore, gravel, gold ore, copper ore, um, and then we've got none of the other bits. But I have been told categorically everything is to be sent back to Earth as is. It is going to be dealt with down on Earth. So we haven't got to deal with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all of those to selling. So on the next hour, copper ore, gold ore, gravel. Now what I'm going to say now is the gold ore and copper ore are worth a fortune. Once processed, they're worth even more of a fortune. I mean, it's the money is crazy. I'm on, I'm on normal economy. I'm not on easy economy or anything like that. So our money is going to jump up dramatically when all those sell. Now, if we go up to our refinery, you saw me bringing over the crude oil. I've set those the oil refineries. I, I, these were set on storing. All those barrels I took up, and this is what I'm puzzled about. They're on storing. Oh, mind you, no, is it put? No, that can't be all of the oil I got from all of those barrels, surely. Anyway. That one I set to distributing. So that's all been distributing down to the crude oil facility. Pipeline runs down the hillside and into the thing. That's fine. So we've got some stuff. I don't know if we've got pallets of these. We've got a lot of pallets of stuff to move. A lot of stuff that's going to be heading back. We have got our diesel refinery, our fuel refinery, but we're producing diesel here as well. So that's actually not too bad. Um, but these products, bearing grease, motor oil, kerosene, paraffin, the bearing grease especially, some of these things we're going to require here up at the colony. That's why we're producing them, because we need things to be produced up here rather than to keep having to have things shipped by shuttle up. That's the point. Um, and then our stuff, our strawberries, lettuce, that kind of stuff, we've got a load of packs, those, they're all going back to Earth as well. The point about this is we're helping to, you know, supply. I mean, that's at the end of the day is what we're doing. Now, uh, after I said about not wanting to do more rock or rock picking, one of the plots, <laughs> I can't believe I missed it. This plot here, let's go across to our soil composition. I missed the stones. I didn't do it. Plus, if you recall, I, I don't know why I didn't think of it. Um, I did all of my fertilising, first fertilising pass on the fields as they were. I'm now going to do a second fertilising pass. All that's going to do is all the extras and all the grass fields, which are going to be grass fields, that's going to put the first fertilising all of these. It's going to put a first fertilising on all the extra bits. You can see where I've expanded these fields out now. And it's going to put the second fertilising state on the middle bits. So we've got, yeah, I mean, but I don't know when I'm going to go into that. I mean, that's going to be a, yeah. But I want to get tree planting started today, at least. Um, I can't start on our planting or seeding until the equipment we've ordered comes. Um, tree planting, I can't start on yet, but what I'm going to do is start getting some of this stuff shifted around. Um, I'm going to set the stuff on to um, selling. Um, I'll show the pallets when we get over there because we've got a lot of pallets that are already out. Those I need to get over to the deliver to earth section. Um, I also realised I've got a water tower, but we, I, I remember saying we had a water reclamation point somewhere. I couldn't remember where I came across it. Of course, I did straight away as I was going around. So until October, when our new equipment comes, I said, new equipment, we order it, takes a month to come. 
Um, so we can't just click our fingers and we've got new equipment. We have to order it, it will take a month. So October 1 is when our planter, um, our tree planters, I've, I've, I've got to go over actually, that's a point. Let's head, I'm talking, I can be talking while we'll, let's walk and talk people. Let's use the electric bike today. Oh, as you can see, you might notice on my hat as well, look, that might be quite, quite amusing, look. My baseball cap says planet. Yeah. I normally have my farm simulator one, but so we've got normal gear on. We did have rain all of yesterday. The um, it's what's referred to as the Kemp weather system. The Kemp weather system is built into the dome, and that's to help all the crops grow and stuff like that. So we have a kind of weather system built in. It also makes you feel more at home, you know. Obviously, it doesn't rain on Mars that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, does it? Who knows? But anyway. I've brought the rollers out to the front section, so we're good to go with the rollers when we need them. Wheel loader is just parked up. Pop off there. So I've got some bits. Why is it not close? There we go. Um, there's some. I've got some spare equipment. I say spare equipment. Equipment that I'm not using at the moment, and I'm probably going to buy different equipment. So I've got the agri power over here. Um, I realised over in the cow pens, I completely forgot about them. We've already got one of these trailers plus a forage um, um, pickup trailer plus a larger trailer so we had two of these or actually three of these ones in bale configuration two like that which i don't need muck spread at the moment i don't need i've ordered three damcon pl 10s so the pl 75 can go however the pl 75 has already got some um um saplings on it but I can't unload those, so they're just that will just have to go. So if I recall correctly, we should be around here. There we go. So these can all go back. I'm going to repaint, and then sell, and then we're going to repaint and sell, and then we're going to repaint and sell. Now that's curious. Can we start climbing? We can sell the pallet, can we? I don't think we can. Okay, I'm going to have to come and move that. That's not a problem. Right, so um, we're going to head over. I'm going to show you. So the greenhouses, we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be moved, transferred over. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because it's 8.10 now on the hour. Maybe I'll get that rock picking done immediately because it's going to annoy me otherwise. So we're going to put... Yeah, I'm not going to do any of those. Line we're going to keep hold of. That's going to be the iron ore. We're going to set to selling gravel, selling gold ore, selling, and copper ore, selling. That's it. Line we're going to store. Awesome. You'll see. <laughs> I mean, that's what's in storage. The actual pallet spawn area is full. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Um, so, yeah, all the raw materials we're going to be sending back. That's what has been requested. That's what we're going to do. I am I'm seriously considering actually at this point um, now the pressure in the dome is equalized everything's running as it should be I think we might start leaving these doors open I've kind of left trackways between the fields like I said I haven't blended them all together yet but the other thing as well I'm looking at is um, some of the other areas where I've done ready for grassing I haven't left all the trackways exposed because I'm, I'm not bothered about driving over the grass. I'm, that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm more than happy to drive over the grass. So what we're going to do, we'll check out the greenhouses in a minute, but we're going to head over to the refinery because I'm curious about that um, to see what's happening there. But as far as crops go, thank you to all the people that have reached out. A few people, a lot of people actually have talked about various ones. Obviously, I say obviously, um, the ones that stand out, bearing in mind we need 800,000 litres of six crops, any crops you like. The crops that yield the most are going to be things like sugarcane, carrots, potato, root crops. We can hit that 800,000 litres in no time. But the equipment required for doing that is a little bit more specialist. And we're going to need a bit more money to be able to get that brought up. Have we got any pallets stored? I can't believe that in... Is that all that we've produced? Crude oil chugging away, paraffin, yeah, maybe it is. We've got a fair bit of diesel, which is brilliant. But the rest of it, 
Oh, is it here? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, blimey. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff already. Oh, right. Well, bearing griefs. So I'm looking at it thinking, surely we should have, we should have more of that. Okay. Um, right. What I'm going to do then. I think we'll do the same with that moving forward. We'll keep hold of this all here. This can be um, what we can use at the facility. I might get rid of, might keep one pallet of each to one side. And if we need any at any point, so things like kerosene, paraf kerosene, sorry, paraffin, motor oil and bearing grease, we'll keep hold of because we need that for maintenance and repair. But the rest of the stuff, I think we'll do the same here. We'll get that all onto, um, let's get that to selling. So that is automatically going to get taken and shipped back. We are helping. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. And like I say, this... Yeah, on, on, a, on a normal... On a normal farm, the biggest challenge is earning enough money to get the equipment and machinery. That's not the challenge. The challenge is all the things we've got to achieve. <laughs> that's the challenge. Um, 20 years being the limit and trying to get all the stuff we need to do. I still haven't started ploughing out inside the domes, which I'm aiming to do. Uh, our water treatment, it's just there, look, our water reclamation. So we have got a water tower over there, but that was installed at my request. But we do have water reclamation. I knew I'd seen it somewhere. Water reclamation is here, so we've got a bit of both. So this is, I'm just like, I'm just updating you where we're at. So I say, fertilising, we are definitely going to need bigger machinery. We are going to need some absolutely monster gear. Because the time it's taken me to do the stuff so far, it's, yeah, it's a lot of time in for not seemingly much progress out. But that's normal. So right, there's all our stuff here. That's all got to be shipped. Like I say, we'll keep, we'll keep hold of a bit for ourselves. Obviously, we need to feed the colony. How many people we end up having here we need to be fed. So, I'm going to see you over at the other... Yeah, this is the next bit. This is a bit... Oh, so, on the next hour, the money is going to leak. I'm not going to show you the prices for the, um, the gold ore and the copper ore. Just to say... <laughs> Yeah, because I know what people say. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's set how it is. It's just I'm not too bothered. In all honesty, it's, like I say, I'm just trying to achieve a goal. And the good thing about that is, once we get a big chunk of money, beehives we can get sorted out. I'm wondering actually as well, do we need to do some lumber? Do I need to cut some trees down? and start producing at the sawmill because if we're going to make beehives or produce anything that needs construction we're going to need lumber maybe uh, we haven't got a metal works or anything like that but that's fine I've ended up talking all over anyway so I'll see you over there but we've bought the uh, forklift over and you're about to see <laughs> so that's what the area looks like here so the lime I'm going to keep to one side but there's um, gold ore we've got gravel a few bits of gravel, more lime, as you can see there. Uh, copper ore, so the gold ore's got a bit more gold in it. The copper ore, more gravel, lime. So yeah, the, the lime I'm going to move out of the way. The others I'm going to load up because they're going to need to be taken over and sold. And the other stuff is automatically set to selling. So everything else is within this. This is all the stuff that's just outside. So we should be okay. What will happen is because the lime's on store, is as I start to open this up, the lime is going to then fill up this area. But that's no... Oh, that's a good point, actually. Um, no, you know what I'm going to do? Because we need to spread lime, and we have got a fertiliser lime spreader over in the far dome. If I bring that over, I'm going to do that. Let's get... Let's get um, at least a load of lime out of that first. Otherwise, it's all just going to spread out all over the place, isn't it? So I've got fertilising to do. I've got liming to do. That's all before the cedar arrives. We've still got that slurry spreader sat there and another tank. I think we bought another one, didn't we? And I've got all the ploughing to do. And Yeah, that's before we even start anything else. I've just suddenly realised what I've done. 
The new cedar planter we've ordered is big. Well, I say big, 18 meters. That's not gonna work inside those domes. I need a smaller planter for putting seed down. Oh, I know what I can do. What about a broadcast cedar? One that just puts grass down. If I can find someone that does that, we can, we can spread it down rather than requiring... I need to get that on order, okay. Okay. This, I'll come in from the other side, which the way it opens. Whoa. Now obviously it's not going to take all of it out, but it's going to take a big chunk of it out anyway. I've got a funny feeling we're going to get through this at a colossal rate. As it stands at the moment, there we go, we're out of stones. Oh no, we're out of stones, so that can be turned off now. So that's it. Until I part, start putting more stones in, all the other thing I was going to say was, when I did the grass section over there, behind the um, the woodland, I won't say forest, it's not really a forest at the moment, um, there is, from the side, from the sort of mountain side, we've got a bit of rock fall, that runs around the sort of the bottom lip here, around that side, around the back there. So there's a bit of stone there, there's a bit of stone there. We're finding it all over the place. So stone isn't a problem. I know I've been collecting with the rock picking. Um, I'm curious to see actually how quickly we're gonna get through this because we've got a lot of fields to lime. I'm not too bothered about liming the grass fields. The, the, um, the crop fields a bit more. Like I said, we're doing. Oh, I'm doing what I'm. Doing. Do I want to fertilise first? I always get the orders of these. I've had really weird things happen when I do liming. Might fertilise first. Yep. Well, at least we've got some of the lime out of there anyway. Right. So, I'm going to load the trailer up. I'm going to take it over, and I'll see you over there. I've got to get to the right place because all of the stuff going back to Earth is over that section, obviously near the spaceport needs to be loaded onto shuttles and it goes back. It's a weird thing, isn't it? It's that, that world we live in now, with a lot of these private space companies, which is... <laughs> when I think back to when I was a kid, you know, you had, like, you had NASA, you know, the European Space Agency, what, was it a thing? I think they were just playing with model rockets and that kind of stuff. No, no, that sounds... I'm not, I'm not you know, belittling anything anyone does. But... All these different companies now, going to space is not what it was. It, it's become more, it's commercial, it's a business. It's its quite a scary world we're living in, isn't it, really? So what I'll do, let's get the lines out of the way first. The problem is, like I say, that's going to refill with more lime. Um, I don't really want to set it on distributing, because I don't know where it will distribute to. I suppose what I've got to do is try and get the, this row's all right because if we get all limes in that row, if I can get the, these two out like that, is that going to hold? Can we go a bit further on that? A little bit. There we go. Let's get those loaded up. It's just going to take a little while. I'm going to get these loaded up. And we'll get them shipped. And like I say, from now on, anything we do, I just wanted to see what they look like. Um, also wanted to show you where we're taking them to because these are being shipped back as they are. Actually, I probably could have done with... Can I get three on? Probably could, actually. Yeah, we're not on particularly straight either, are we? If I give a shove from the back as well, if I go to about there and get another one on the other side, we can get far more on there. Bearing in mind I've got all the uh, greenhouse stuff to go in as well. So you can see that row now is all lime. So what I can do, if I can get them at least all lime out, because all the rest of it is all on... Um, distributing... No, not distributing, selling now. 
think two of these at a time is going to be all this is going to manage until I do the other side and then I'll just do one at a time to load those up. Anyway, yeah. I want to at least get on to um, getting some trees in in this episode. And then what we'll do, like I say, it's kind of the, during the first of everything, really. Um, we'll see what happens on the hour, how much money we make from all the stuff from here. This is heavy. I mean, heavy. Um, what I decided to do with all the lime, I wasn't sure whether the silos, there are multi-fruit silos that we've got, whether they will put lime in them. So I've taken the lime out and put it into there. All the lime pallets that came out, I've loaded those into a trailer, not onto a trailer, into a trailer. So I've unloaded the loose lime, and the lime is going to go into one of the silos down there. And then what I can do is when I need my lime, I'll go and get it from there. It's it's going to go nowhere. I mean, we've got 30, what, 33,000 litres, was it? 15, 32, something like that. Not a huge amount of lime. That's not going to do... I mean, we're going to be lucky that there's a whole field. Um, we're going to get through a lot of lime. What I was hoping, it's A56. I was hoping to get to the sell point before the hour. Because I'm curious to see just what's on this trailer, how much we'll make. Knowing how much we've got that's set to selling on the hour in the actual you know, piece of equipment plus the um, refinery um, but you look how much the wheels have squished flat tyre time um, I'm still, t I don't know whether or not to take these trees down some people have said don't bother, say 266 some people have said take them down because they're quite sparsely populated on that area now I'm concerned that when I come to plant mine I'm going to put them too close together because I know it can hamper their growth but at the end of the day the, the mission says you've got to plant 10,000. I'm still really concerned that if I plant them and I get to that, that figure of 7,500, nearly 8,000 to then have to cut down 2,000 trees to put more up. Again, it's just time-wise, isn't it? That's, that's what it is. Um, so we've got export to earth now i don't know if the export to earth will work we'll try there first uh, we've got next up we've got an oil cell point and then just around the corner we've got our mars minerals which have been um again at my request so that's our export to earth next that is nsfa oil and then we've got mars minerals um i think mars minerals is where this is going to sell 858 come on i'm going to cut across the field can we get there in two minutes I'm not sure. Or do I just go straight for Mars? Let's do Mars Minerals first, since that's closest. Whoa, I thought I was going to roll over there. I assume all this will sell there. It should do. Now that's curious. But not the gravel. Hmm, okay. What do I do with that then? The oil one won't take it. I'm hoping the return to earth one. I mean, this is all going to earth, but... Please take it. Nope. Ah, okay. Where do I sell that? Now I'm really baffled. This trailer does not like having these on there. Uh, let me just double check this. I was so busy in the menu, I missed it. Nine o'clock. 494,315. That jumped up a fair old bit, didn't it? Um, that's good, we'll take that. Um, apparently, there's nowhere for the gravel or the iron ore. Um, did I miss something? Is there? Mm, okay. So there's no other production. So that produces gravel. That uses limestone. Is there another production I'm missing? What am I going to do with all that gravel and iron ore? Um, 8,000 litres of gravel. Hmm. Well, it's just going to be more than that, isn't it? Because I'm just thinking, because that'll also mean down at uh, out here. Where did that all go then? If that was set to selling, it's all gone from there. We've got a little bit of lime left in there. But the gravel's gone, so it's sold somewhere. 
Oh, okay. Whatever. I just, just. <laughs> I'm so confused. Right. I need to load up the fruit and veg. We'll get that ship. That should go to the. Oh, you know what? I'm going to check that as well, aren't I? Um, I made assumptions. You know that. You know how it works. Assumptions never good. Export to Earth. That's right. There we'll go to export to Earth, so I can get rid of those. That's not a problem, right? We'll get those shipped back. I need to um, find a home for these. Hmm. Right, greenhouse products are going to be going. Stuff from the uh, refinery is going to be going. This is to our oil selling. So this is sort of the liquid. So we've got some oil. We've got some bearing grease. The other stuff I've left over. I haven't got a lot of it, but I bought some of it over. These trailers, I don't know if it's the pallets would do this on any trailer or this particular type of trailer, but it doesn't matter what pallets are put on there because the greenhouse ones, even putting stuff in the greenhouses, and they're standard greenhouses, um, the trailer just seems to just keep moving. Sometimes it's the ground, it's, it's a weird, so you get all these various different conflicts between map, mod, mod, and, and products, and yeah, it can be a bit of a weird one. But this is all going to earth being sent back like i said the minerals are going back in there how they're mined we're not doing any work on anything like that at the moment we might do it at some point i don't know and as you can see the money is going up and that's just going to help us with more materials more equipment more machinery whatever it is we're going to need to achieve our goals that have been set that's the plan i need to get on to some rock picking that last little bit needs to be done and then spraying We're in October. As you can probably see in front of us, we've been busy. <laughs> you probably saw the, you've seen the clips as well. Um, wow. So, fields are prepped as best as I can prep them. Top section's done. I have also, yeah, you did see that. I've gone in and I've ploughed all the sections within the animal pens. If we go across to our soil composition, you'll see that everything that we're going to plant crops into... I mean, technically, I mean, technically, grass is a crop. It can be, yeah. Um, but everything we're going to do proper crops in, let's just say that, we are now double fertilised. Anything that's going to have grass in, single fertilised for the time being, but I'm going to double fertilise it. We are limed. If I click on lime, you'll see that all the grass fields I haven't limed, but all the crop fields I have, um, we used up all the lime that we had produced and we bought some from the lime station. Now, it's not actually very expensive. We didn't use horrendous amounts. Um... Did I leave the buggy down here? I did. I think I've left my um, yeah, stuff over there. But our stuff has been delivered. So what we're going to do, you'll see, I mean, we've been putting some time on our equipment. <laughs> That's not looking too good. But our stuff is here. Um, I have also had delivered, thank you, Rob, the electric telehandler. I, I don't know how much we're going to use these things, but it has been shipped, it has been delivered, it is here. So we'll have a look at the stuff that we've got this month. 
and um, and we'll see with regard to the planting. So I'm going to do trees now. That's interesting. Oh, that's something as well. I've had shipped. We've got this because the pioneer tent's all right, but I thought we could go a bit more fancy, a bit more kind of space agey. Now we are missing. Oh, it's there. That's weird. Why is how that ended up there? So Damcon PL tens, tandem rig. Now the tandem, although it says tandem, we've got three attachments. You can adjust these attachments. So I've got the three rigs. We can run three at a time. Now I'm trying to work out in my head the best way of doing this. We've also got a saplings um, set. This has got 316 saplings per pallet. So in one run, one full run, we can do 948 trees. Now that does mean 10 full runs isn't going to get us to our 10,000. Assuming, of course, we can even get to the 10,000. So we'll have to do 11 lots of that, which will take us to 10,428 trees. That's the plan. The electric telehandler, just here. And for our grass work, because I said about getting a different cedar, I thought, well, no, because we're only going to use it for grass. And it was more for within the animal domes. Uh, we've got this broadcast cedar, um, seed distributor. It doesn't hold a huge amount, but for doing grass work, that's going to be perfect. And then we've got our big old Kinsey cedar planter, 18 metres, 18.5, something like that, which we're going to get onto. But we're going to start off in this episode, at least, we're going to um, get trees underway. Next episode, we're going to get onto our seeding, planting. What I'm finding fascinating is, I, I'm just, I was just about to say, now we can get onto the proper, the, not the proper work, but we can get into like the, the meat and potatoes of the, of the, of the work. But um, we've done a lot. I mean, we, we have done a huge amount. I think I'm like 25 hours in. We're only on, what, three episodes or something like that? We're on the third episode now, aren't we? Um, I'm not going to take the stones out of there. I think what we'll do is we'll grass seed, we'll broadcast, and then if we roll, it should roll them back in, hopefully. Um, again, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I mean, let's move this just over out of the way. I've just suddenly realised I don't think I've got any attachments. So we have got an electric telehandler. That's awesome. Thank you, Rob. Um, next month, we'll get the attachments for it. I didn't even cross my mind to pre-order. Anyway, let's see how this is going to work. Oh, yeah, our blower. That arrived. Um, so what we've got is... Uh, there we go. So this should... Using a special particulates... There we go, look at that. We're not wasting water. Space age technology, people. Space age technology. I tell you what I've been, I've been really enjoying. I did the same when I did Carpathians and various different Let's Plays. If you're doing a theme, if you're following a kind of a theme of any description, it's that thing of when you're hunting for bits of equipment, specific things, things that you think will work well, it's trying to find those items. Oh, hang on a minute, I've just realised I don't know. Is this going to cut the... Th mm -hmm. Now that's weird. If you look at the bottom right, that is saying 948, which is three pallets of 316. Because that pallet... It was delivered with, with the pallet on there. That pallet's now on the floor. Which I can't pick up by hand. I have to try and move. But it's registering that it's on there. I wonder if we start planting whether or not they will disappear from here. I don't know. That's very odd. Shouldn't be doing that. That's not going to look good. That's really nerfed things up as. Um, you can't unload these either. Hmm. I'm trying to think what to do here. If I reset it, will it drop the pallets on the ground? That's not what I wanted. When I was saying I'm not sure, I don't know if this is going to go up that slope. Whether I think the left hand side is going to be hanging over a little bit. I look, give me a minute, I'm going to have to try and work out what to do with this. This is. Um, Right, there we go, that just needed resetting. It's weird, twice now I've had one of these pallets just fall off 
I'm just wondering again whether it's that compatibility thing. I've got three separate things working together here. I've got the tandem, I've got the Damkin PL10s, and then I've got the, the saplings. Oh no, hang on. Oh, it might be alright. Just getting around the. Uh, I've never even thought about the lights. <laughs> So the other thing I'm worried about now is the trees being too close together and not growing to full maturity. But again, like I said, it's more that it just said they have to be planted. <laughs> it didn't say that to grow to full maturity, which is a little bit of a dodgy one. Um, but I'm wondering whether if I can start the first one off, drive a little bit forward, then start the second one off, drive a little bit forward, then start the third off, because they will plant in a rotation, in a cycle of a certain distance, that at that point, can we get away with it? Um, will it will it then continue in that cycle? I don't know. This is all ifs, buts and maybes. So what we'll do, I don't know which one it's on at the moment. I think we have to, do we unfold it? No, uh, what do we do here? Uncover. Oh, there we go. So that's the middle one. If I turn, drop that down, and drive forward a little bit. That's put the first one in. Right now, switch to next one. So we've gone forward a little bit. Turn that off. No, drop that down. There we go. Let's put a tree in, then switch to the last one, do that one, try to fall a little bit more, lower it, let's put a tree in. So if I now carry on, it should put them all out random, there we go, so it's, they're not all three right on top of each other. So as you can see, they're at a diagonal to each other which gives them a bit more space on a diagonal than if they were all perfectly in line with each other there, which should give them a little bit more growing space, in theory. I think I've come too far over. I need, I need as much space as I can possibly get. So what I'm going to do now... It's working! As I've said many times, many, many times, it's only stupid if it doesn't work. And it is working. <laughs> and to be fair, three at a time, yeah, it's going to be fairly slow going, but... Each load we do like this will be nearly a thousand trees. I don't mind if we block the entryway, I'm not too fussed about that. We can always cut some trees down if it becomes a problem. Now there, there are several in this tandem range, different widths. I think this was the this might be the one down from the largest, I think. I can't remember. I'm so pleased with that. Actually, you all do. Let's swing down to here. That's weird. They've levelled themselves out. How did that happen? How bizarre. So maybe it wasn't me then. Maybe they've got a weird... The intervals have changed. Huh? 
Okay. Might just be the angle I was putting them at. So it might not have made any difference whatsoever. Yeah, it's just the angle I'm driving at. Because I was going at a diagonal. Oh, it wasn't me. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> they're all over the shop now. At the end of the day, they're going to the ground. I really don't... I don't mind at all. Like I said, as far as I'm concerned, it's a win. Oh, hang on. Did I just find... See? I know the moon was made of cheese. I didn't know Mars was. What are these worth? Oh! Get in. I'll take that. One of those weird Mars rarities. That will be shipped back. I don't eat it, of course. So the other thing is, like I said, I need to come further over. I don't want to put these obviously over the landing pad, but can we get all the way round and utilise all of this top section for trees? That's what I'm kind of hoping. Yes, yeah, so before the end of the episode, I will have this full load done. The first 948 trees in the ground. Those pallets are over to the left were the ones that were here already. Actually, the front way over there. We can go and grab that. Yeah, they, they were here already. So they're not part of the um, saplings pack. The saplings pack gives you the option for um, far more per pallet, as you can imagine. 316 per pallet is not normal. Um, that being said, 306, each pallet was six grand. So it's not a cheap thing to do. I don't know how well they're going to grow, but yeah, each month. So in the first year, we can get all the trees in. And then they take how long? Is it two years to grow? I'm trying to think how long it is to grow. That still gives us plenty of time if we do need to cut any down. I mean, I'm just thinking cutting down, we could use a devourer. We can make wood chips instead of um, cutting the trees down. I'm just thinking something that's quick, uh, or at least quicker to do. Maybe. Awesome. Right, I'll see you when these pallets have run out. And then, like I say, next episode, we're going on to our seeding, planting. I still haven't decided on crops, and it might be that the crops I put in the ground this first time around might not be my six. <laughs> I might change my mind, and it might also get to that point. If you get desperate and you start thinking, actually, I don't know if I'm going to hit this, then there's always root crops. Root crops is the, the, the one you can rely on. You will be able to fall back on that and hit that hard and you'll hit your, your targets no problem at all on here if you go root crop. Um, you can set yourself a target and say, okay, this is what's been set down by Farmer Bob. But I, I could decide to myself, one of the six can be root crop or two of the six can be root crop, but the others can't be. That's entirely up to you. What you choose to do for your parameters, that's up to you. And that is that. That didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. That is our first 948 trees in. Do I need to raise those? I do. Raise that one. And then... Up. Oh, there we go. That worked an absolute treat. Now what I have done, I've left a gap up there where it runs round towards the, the top sort of oil drilling section where the um, sleep trigger originally was that where that cabin was, around that, that rock there um, and I've also left a gap I came back along this outer rim and I've left a gap here so we can get up and down I've just noticed, look more cheddar let's grab the cheddar please let me grab the cheddar no? what? 
That's weird. It's not letting me. That's definitely a... That is a fromage. I can see it. No? Well, let me grab it. Okay. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. First 948 trees in. Fields, everything's ready to go. It's been a lot of prep work to get to this point. Now we can get our planting in. Planting, seeding, stuff getting in the ground. We've got rolling to do. Um, and then I need to look at the grass. Grass will need to get sorted. Um, second fertilising state on all the grass fields. Then we need to start looking at beehives. Then we got, I think the easiest thing to get cracking on with... Actually, no, we'll need to wait for grass to grow until we can do anything with the cows because obviously we're going to need feed. So we're going to need at least... Um, hay and silage, so we're going to need to do that. We're going to need a silage clamp. We're going to need oh, there's a whole load of stuff we're going to need. We're going to need crops, so we're going to need wheat or barley or something that we can feed the chickens. So we can't get the chickens until we do, we've done that. Really, that makes more sense. Um, sheep again. Once grass is done, we can crack on with the sheep straight away, so we can get into animals. But that's going to all hinge on crops growing first, uh, and obviously then ordering more stuff more machinery i'll show you what i mean about the pallets if we go down to here and we go to our saplings I'm, I'm going for spruce only because i mean that's the tree saplings that come with the pl10 they're on pallets of 50s and you can choose which one you go for the standard in-game ones are there they're pallets of 20s here we go um so it starts off on pallets of six 25s 40s 60s, 120s, 178s, 238s or 316s um, and yeah they, it can get a bit pricey, it depends what you're planting with but and I just thought spruce, spruce 2, I go spruce 2s, I might go with spruces this time, doesn't matter I don't want to go, I mean we might go pines, it's stuff that tall, grows tall and doesn't take a lot of space wide stone pine maybe, birch potentially um, but things like oak, willow, maple, the things that spread out much further, I wasn't going to go for. I was going to go for stuff that if we do want to do any uh, forestry work of cutting trees down, these types are going to be the easiest ones to go for. Um, so I'm going to need three more of those. Whether I'm going to load them up now or not, I don't know. But anyway, that being said, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.